Hey guys, Adam here from A to Z Body Fitness. And today we're going to go over a few myths in regards to losing weight and why they actually don't help you with losing weight. Okay, so we're going to get right into it because I don't like stalling and wasting time. You might have come across these before and you might even been doing them yourself. You might have known somebody's been doing them yourself. But we're going to go over these next few myths because I still see a lot of people doing them. I just wanted to make a video to show people that they actually don't help you in regards to losing weight. First one, detoxes make you lose weight. They don't make you lose weight. They just, it doesn't work that way. What detoxes are good for, they're good for helping to cleanse the body. There's even separate detoxes that you can tape for different parts of your body. There's like a colon cleanse, there's a kidney cleanse, there's a lung cleanse. Um, do they work? Well, I guess that depends on the merit of the company that's making them and also the ingredients that they're using. But do they actually help with losing weight? No, unfortunately they don't do that. There's nothing in these products that's actually gonna target belly fat and break it down, or it's gonna target fat in general and break it down. It just doesn't work that way. I wish it did, unfortunately it doesn't, but detoxes don't break down belly fat. The reason why people may think they do with these detoxes, when you purchase them, they tell you to go on a cleanse and basically to eat only healthy foods or even essentially to fast. And when you do that, you're automatically going to take less calories, right? When you eat healthy foods, you're going to have cleaner amounts of foods, you're going to have low calorie dense foods like um, uh, chicken or vegetables. Uh, the healthy foods in general and that's going to cause you to lose weight from the original from the amount of food that you've already been eating right so it's going to look like the detox is doing something but it's actually not they actually themselves don't break down fat so don't pay attention to that number two waist trainers i think people are starting to understand that waist trainers actually don't break down uh, body fat and they don't break down belly fat they don't help you lose weight in general but i think there's still quite a few people out there that uh, do think they do and the reality is they don't. All a waist trainer does is that when you wear it, depending on the tightness, it'll actually help to, I shouldn't say help because it's not good for you, but it'll basically shrink your waist. But it, it, what it does is over time, it repositions your bones and makes them smaller and smaller and smaller, right? It doesn't actually break down body fat. It doesn't break down fat from your body. Um, and the other thing is that's kind of unhealthy for your body as well. Your bones being repositioned like that when they're not supposed to be is not really a good thing either. I know a lot of people, a lot of, I've seen bodybuilders wear them. I've seen a lot of um, figure competitors wear them, women's figure competitors. Um, and they do over time, like I said, help to reposition the waist, make them more tight and, and slimmer. But as for breaking down body fat and basically losing weight, it doesn't have anything to do with that whatsoever. Third one, fat burners. And it's probably one of the worst ones around and it's been around for a long time. Fat burners don't do anything for you. They work on such a minuscule scale that it'll make no difference because of the calories that you're gonna be taking in later on in the day anyways, right? They actually, they, 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 it's just a complete waste of money in my opinion. The only way that they would actually have any s sort of significance is if you're a competitor and a bodybuilding show or if you're you know doing a photo shoot and you have to get as lean as possible. You should only be taking them if you're already eating well, you're exercising regularly, and then you're taking the fat burner on top of that. Then it'll help you get towards that peak ideal condition that you're looking for. But taking them regularly is not gonna make a difference whatsoever. So again, fat burners, they really don't work. They're only gonna work if you're trying to get your body down to a peak ideal look for a photo shoot or for a bodybuilding competition. And you can't even sustain that for a long period of time because it's not healthy. So don't waste your money on them. They really don't help you. Fourth one. People still think carbs make you fat. They don't make you fat. Carbs have the same amount of calorie intake per gram as protein does. They're lean, okay? They don't make you fat. If you consume, it's all about calories in, calories out. If you consume a lot of carbs, you're gonna get fatter. If you're taking in more caloric intake than what your body maintenance is, you're gonna put on fat. It's just the way it is, that's how your body works. But the actual carb itself does not make you fat. It does not, it does, it's not like you eat carbs and you just start putting on fat like that. It doesn't work that way. It takes a certain amount of the calories from your carbs, proteins, and fats, and it makes it into fat, right? So when your body breaks down carbs, fats, and proteins, it takes most of those calories, essentially, and it will turn it into fat anyways, regardless, right? That's how your body produces them and breaks down the calories from your macros. Your body will take fats, and it'll pretty much take all of, so let's say you eat 100 calories of fat, it'll take all of that and turn it into fat. Let's say you eat 100 calories of carbs, 
Um, it'll roughly take 80 to 90 or so around that range and turn it into fat and the rest it utilizes for energy. And then protein takes around 70 to 80 percent and then you use it, utilizes the rest for um, for energy. Now it varies per person obviously that's just a general range but carbs themselves do not make you fat. If you eat carbs they're not going to make you fat. You're not just automatically going to start getting fatter. It doesn't work that way. The body doesn't process it that way. It's calories in versus calories out. So just stop being afraid of carbs. It's not going to happen. Body creams. Body creams for weight loss. I've seen a number of these products over the years where these uh, companies are selling these body creams where you put it on you, you rub it on your stomach and it starts breaking down and shredding the fat across your abdominal section and around your waist and hips. That's bullshit. It doesn't work. You can't do that. Again, the body doesn't break down fat that way. It's calories in versus calories out. There's nothing in those creams that will actually start to break down fat from the outside. It's an internal thing. Your body breaks down fat from the inside over time and as a total body uh, figure. It doesn't spot reduce either. You can't spot reduce with like a cream or an exercise. It, it just unfortunately it doesn't work that way. What these creams will do though is that it'll heat up the area, okay? So when it heats up the area, it gets a little bit hotter, it makes you sweat a little bit more. And then when you output more body heat over time, if you're doing that, you break down more fat. But again, it doesn't work in a single area. If you put this cream all over your body, it might make more of a significance, but even then, it wouldn't really make that much of a significance. You'd have to be working out regularly. Again, you'd have to be eating well. And that cream, just like the fat burners, would make, actually it's probably worse than the fat burners, would make such a small, insignificant difference. So these creams, they don't work. Burn more calories on an empty stomach. This is it's just simply not true. You don't burn more calories on an empty stomach. Um, you're going to burn whatever storages you have in your body. You can't just get up in the morning, go do cardio on an empty stomach, and then think that your metabolism is gonna spike even higher and you're gonna start burning more calories. Unfortunately, again, it doesn't work that way. You will burn calories, depending on how much cardio you do, how intense it is, and how long it is but you're not going to burn more just because your body is on an empty stomach. It's not like because there's no food in there, it automatically just starts targeting fat. No, what happens is your body's gonna break down your carbs first, and then it's gonna break down your fats and then your proteins, right? That's the whole purpose of the keto diet as well. For some people that do keto diets, when your keto is low, you're in ketosis, you start breaking down fat, and then you start uh, losing calories more that way as well. So you're not gonna burn more calories just on an empty stomach. You're gonna burn the same amount you would as if you know it was any other part of the day. I myself like to do uh, cardio in the morning sometimes just because of the added benefits of you know waking you up, good endorphins. You do exercise right in the morning, you feel better. But for the sole purpose of actually losing and breaking down more calories, it doesn't work that way. Okay, and the last one is, I was kind of hesitant to put this one on the list, but I decided to do it because it kind of has a relevance to the whole topic but it's epoch basically burning more calories after you work out. Now, although this is true, if you do a high intensity workout, whether it's like 45 minutes of elongated cardio or you do hit and you raise up your heart rate past a certain point, you develop epoch. And what that is, is your body using oxygen to basically break down more calories over time, right? But what people don't realize is you don't actually burn that much at all. Like people think you're burning like hundreds of calories and oh, they can do like 10, 15 minutes of hit and they'll be able to rely on EPOC for the next 24 to 48 hours because they're still burning calories. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way because if, if it did, we'd have a lot more people in shape. You're only gonna be burning maybe anywhere between 20 to 60 calories and that depends on how, how uh, much cardio you did, the intensity and how long you did. So you're really not going to be burning that much it's only gonna be a little bit extra. And if you think about it, the amount of food that you're gonna be eating later on, if you even go over um, your caloric intake for the day or you bulk even a little bit, you're gonna even offset that by taking in more calories. So it's really not gonna make that much of a difference. That's why I always tell people, just focus on your workout at the time being that you're currently doing. You know, Do as much as you can during that workout, try as hard as you can, and be persistent about it every day and you'll see the results. Don't rely on EPOC to burn more calories over time because it's, again, such a little insignificant small amount that's really not gonna help over time. If your eating habits are really good and you never, you know, let's say eat junk food or you never, uh, you know, you're not in a bulking phase, which I don't know why you are, you shouldn't be doing that anyways, but you're not bulking, you're strenuous with your workouts, that, yeah, those calories can add up over time. They can make a significant difference down the road, but for the average person, it just doesn't always happen just because of the fact that you're always, you know, at some point in the week, might, let's say you have a cheat meal or you have a meal that's going to be essentially 
uh, uh, that's going to be a higher caloric intake. It's going to offset some of those calories anyway. So don't focus on that too much. It's not really that big of a deal. It's, it doesn't really make that much of a difference in the long run. I would just focus on your workout, doing it day in and day out. Make sure you're eating healthy foods. Eat low calorie dense foods and make and realize that it's calories in, calories out. Okay, guys, it's the end of the video. If you liked what you saw, please comment, subscribe, share, like. Let me know what you think, and uh, see you guys in the next video.